how to use Wix bookings. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking about how you are gonna be using Wix bookings in the easiest way. So to start things off, what you are gonna to wanna to be doing is you are simply gonna go over to Wix.com. Okay, and once you're in Wix.com, you're gonna to want to create an account for yourself on Wix, okay? And the account creation process is really simple. It's really easy. What you're gonna to wanna to be doing is you are simply gonna go ahead, okay, add in your email, password, etc. And once you've gone through with all those things, what you're gonna get is, uh, you know, really easy stuff to go through the setup and all. Now, once you've done that, it's gonna bring you here. So we're gonna click on create new site. And once you click on create new site, it's going to start asking you a few questions. Now, there are a few things that you're going to need to get into when you're making a booking site, because a booking site is obviously to book an appointment, book an event, etc. So obviously you can create it with an AI, but I'm going to set it up without an AI because I just rather create it myself. Now, once you're here, you're going to write booking. Okay, so I'm going to go with, because obviously it's a bookings website. So let's say I'm gonna go with some kind of service, right? I'm gonna go with engagement and wedding photography service because people are gonna book me as their engagement or wedding photographer, right? So I'm offering a service and people are gonna be booking me for that service. So let's just wait for things to load in. And here we are. So it says, welcome to your dashboard. Now it's gonna ask us, you know, a bit about our business. It says, this will help us customize your experience. What is the name of your business? So you can enter your business's name. So let's say I'm gonna go with um, Wedding Geeks. Okay, I'm just gonna call it that. And it says, what is your business address? You can obviously go ahead and add that if you want to. So once you've added that, you're gonna click on continue. Once you do that, it says working hours. So Obviously, you're going to set in your default working hours. I'm going to stay with that and click on continue. And it brings us here in our services. So it says start adding your services. So you have engagement photo shoot, family photo shoot, newborn event, etc. So I'm going to go with vetting and I'm going to go with engagement. OK, I'm going to go with both of these and I'm going to click on continue. Now it says add staff members, include yourself and anyone who will be providing services. So if there is any, you're going to name them. It says, what else do you want to do with your business? We'll add the right tools to your dashboard. So there's things like accepting online payments, accept in-person payments, send automated emails and SMS reminders, manage your services and bookings on the go, and sell digital and physical products. So I'm going to go with accept online, accept in-person, and there's also send automated emails and SMS reminders. I would like that. And then it says manage your services and bookings on the go. You can keep that on or you can keep that off. It depends on you, but uh, I'm going to keep it off for now. And it says choose how do you want to continue. So I'm going to go to the dashboard. I'm not just going to get straight into the design bit of the website. So once we do that, I'm simply going to wait for it to load in. And here we are into our Wix.com section. So over here, you have things like find your perfect domain and secure it in a few clicks. Add your first service, set up payment methods, design your website, and get found on Google. So what we're going to want to do in this case is here, you are going to go ahead and add bookings for yourself. And by adding bookings, I mean adding services. So I'm going to click on add your first service. So once we click on add your first service, it's going to load you into the service section where it's going to ask you the name and the images and stuff, you know, whatever you want to add as your services. So here we are, create and edit courses, classes or appointments, business setup recommendations. So you have create booking forms, send reminders, add a card to your site. These are some recommendations. So we're over here. You have engagement photo shoot. I'm going to go ahead and edit out of it. I'm going to add a little, you know, new stuff into the service, you know, what time I'm available. I'm going to keep an engagement photo shoot and this is a good image. Tagline, uh, I'm just uh, going to go with the best photographers in town. I'm going to go with that. Then you can also give it a brief description. I'm going to go with generate AI description. 
Okay, we're going to click on create text. Obviously, it uh, creates a task. I'm going to go ahead with this. Duration. How long do you want your, um, you know, services to be? So I'm going to go with custom. And, you know, however long the wedding is, it could be five hours, it could be six hours. I'm going to go with that time. So once we do that, here is price and payment. Choose how clients can pay for the service per session with a plan or, you know, per session over the plan. So I'm going to go with the per session for now, or you can even go with a plan. So clients buy a membership or package a or book a session with. So, you know, you could add different plans like, uh, you know, the three hour plan, the five hour plan, the six hour plan, the whole day plan, etc. So, you know, create these plans for yourself. And obviously, I'm creating this in retrospect and context to weddings. You don't really need to, you know, create this for yourself if you don't want to. You can simply, if I cross out of this, you can simply just go with per session. And a fixed price, I would go with this. Entire amount online, in person. I'm going to go with entire either online or in person. Okay. So once you've done that, uh, here it's going to say images. Add a cover image and a photo gallery if you want to. Booking preferences. You know, choose all of that stuff. Click on save. And once you click on save, it says engagement photo shoot has been saved. So, you know, you have basically created a service. So once you've created a service, you know, a booking service, what you're going to do is you're finally going to go into the design or the sections of your website. And once you're into the design sections of your website, you're simply going to click on pick a template. OK, and once you go into pick a template, you have all these different templates to work with. I'm going to go with this one over here. Looks pretty cool. So once you come over here, I'm going to wait for things to load in. And, you know, that's pretty much about it when it comes to thinking or working with this kind of stuff, right? So, yeah, that's the common idea of how you are going to be making a booking website on Wix. So if you do want to learn more about this stuff, please do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a lot more videos to explain the context of this to you. And uh, if you also want to, you know, see more videos, let me know down in the comments and I'll be making more videos like this for you. But yeah, once, as you can see over here, our Wix website is loaded up for booking. Let's say if uh, someone goes to book online, okay? I'm going to wait for a Wix to, you know, add the finishing touches. Now, once the finishing touches are added, here we have this. I'm going to go to book online. And once you go to book online, it's going to bring you here. So here is your engagement photo shoot. And if someone wants to book it, they can book it. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it. If you enjoyed this video, drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Till then, that's all from me. Thank you for watching all the way till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.